Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in Oxygen 4.1. The first feature I wanna talk about is cross-site copy and paste. Previously, we introduced a simple copy and paste that allows you to copy and paste elements and entire sections across different pages on your site. But now in Oxygen 4.1, you can copy and paste entire sections or individual elements across different Oxygen sites. So here I have one Oxygen site with a starter template loaded up, and I have another Oxygen site that is completely blank. And I wanna move one of these sections across. So I'm gonna select the section, and I can go up to our structure pane, and I can either go to the little context menu here and click export, which will copy this section's data to my clipboard, or I can just press Command or Control Shift C, and that will copy it to my clipboard as well. Now we can go over to my blank site, and we can go to the structure pane, and we can click Import. Now we simply paste our clipboard data in and click Import, and it drops that section in. And we can see that the design is exactly the same besides global styles, which are not imported when you copy and paste across sites because you want the section or element to adapt to the style of your site rather than altering it. So now let's say we designed a button. Let's add a new class to this, my new button. And we'll just add some new styles here. Let's change the background color to red and change the typography color to black. Now let's say we wanna use this button on our other site. We can simply Command or Control Shift C to copy that element to our clipboard. Then jump over here, click Import, and paste the element's data in. And now that element with all of its styles is present on this install. So this feature is super cool and is much faster than any previous options we've had for moving designs or elements across sites. The next thing I wanna talk about in the Builder UI here is the expansion of fields with none units. Let me show you what that means. So let me get rid of this button and we'll work with this button here instead. We'll go to Advanced Size and Spacing. This will probably look familiar if you've used a recent version of Oxygen. If we choose the none unit for one of our margin or padding fields and then focus it, it's gonna expand. And that allows us to type longer strings like variables or CSS functions. But we've moved this functionality to all of the other fields that have none units. So down here, we can expand that field and type a big long CSS variable if we'd like. We can use clamp or calc or whatever, and we'll actually be able to see what we've typed. So pretty much any field in the properties pane over here that has units should expand when the none unit is selected. The same goes for our global styles fields, which is gonna be huge for our heading controls. So a lot of people like to use clamp, which is a CSS function for fluid heading sizes in Oxygen, which makes a lot of sense. But previously you'd have to type clamp and whatever else you want in here, and then you wouldn't even be able to see what you typed. But now if we have the none unit selected and we click into the field, we can see exactly what our function is doing. Now the final major change in Oxygen 4.1 is over in the WordPress admin panel. So let's jump back over there and take a look. Now that we're back on the edit screen for this page, we can scroll down and take a look at the new revisions management options. Here in the Oxygen meta box, we can click revisions to get a list of revisions. We have a few new options here. First, we can delete individual revisions or we can delete all revisions for this specific post or page. This is a big deal for some sites where revisions can really add up over time and folks want a little bit more of a granular management option for these revisions. So now you can take care of those on a per post basis. In addition to these changes, Oxygen 4.1 also includes many bug fixes, a lot of which are fixes for very old issues. So we've started to close some of our older bug reports and we're continuing to move Oxygen towards a better workflow and more stability with every release. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team and thank you very much for watching.